Hello again, comparison with 3D Studio Max and Blender, and today we're going to do look at particle systems. Particle systems, basically, if you don't know, simulates chaotic things such as clouds, fluids, snow, explosions, bees, ants, scenes where there are lots and lots of particles, similar particles, and they have to do things, you know, like they bounce off walls, or they go into holes, or they go up into the air, they're blown by wind. So. 3D Studio Max, the old school way of doing it, we used to use one, we used to, we go here and we go to particle systems and we, for example, we choose Blizzard, so we put that there, and then we pressed play, and it simulated a few particles here, yeah, and we could use, you know, constraints and deflectors to deflect the objects, yeah, so let's delete all that. But now in 3D Studio Max, we use PF source. So we make a PF source. It makes this weird thing here. And it might look like the old school way, and, but then we open particle view, and it's a node-based editor. So we can go into each of these components and adjust them. And we can add loads and loads of stuff here that makes it do really fancy things. And it's very high-end and very difficult. But a good way to learn PF source is to go to preset flows, drag it there, choose a preset, some really good stuff like shock wave, weeds, yeah. And I'm gonna choose explosion. <clears throat> so it's gonna load up a really cool explosion. Let's maximize the viewport and show you what it looks like. Press play. Boom. And look, all these particles kind of simulated. Yeah. And the great thing about the presets is that you know it's set up here. So this would take ages to set up, yeah. Even if you were an expert at particle doing particle things, yeah. A particle a particle expert. But here you can mess around with the display, yeah. And mess around with everything here and you can learn from it and expand, yeah. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel each time, which is really good. So that's the way we do it in 3D Studio Max. So in Blender, it's a bit more old school. So Blender is, you go to the modifier, and you add a modifier, and you go to Particle Systems. And then we're going to press Play, and instantly it makes a little particle system like this. Then we go to the Particle Systems here, and it shows us the system. And we've got, again, all the options like Start, End Time, rotation, things like that. Yeah, A good thing to do is, a good thing I'd recommend is to start learning is to go to object and then um, turn your particles into an object. So I'm going to add a cylinder and then we can make that into the particle. Yeah, And at the moment it looks rubbish because it's all just in one direction. <laughs> one direction, the pop group. <laughs> we can go to rotation here and it starts to make things rotate more more randomized yeah and a way to add interact oops I just deleted the cylinder which deleted the particles there and a way to make the particles interact with physical forces we go to add and we go to add force fields for example wind so it's going to add a nice wind here so it's like this circular stuff and we go to we go to forces and we go to wind and we look at the strength and press play accordingly and look at the reaction again so there you go so let's take the strength down a bit and we can rotate it make it go different directions okay so and then we can add and add and add loads of particle systems one thing Blender doesn't have its presets, which is quite annoying. I think there's some development and some scripts you can add on with presets. So it's only a matter of time until Blender gets preset, presets like in 3D Studio Max for particles. Yeah. Another thing, which is another lesson, you can check out some cool YouTube stuff on that, is add modify and go to smoke or fluid simulation. Yeah. And these simulate kind of particle stuff based on fluids and smoke. Really powerful 
stuff going on there. So Blender is really good, and considering Blender's free, it's pretty ama pretty amazing. Obviously, if you use Blender, you know, make donations. Um, so to conclude, 3D Studio Max, very, very, very good particle s system using the PF source, PF particle view, with node-based editors, but it is complex, so I'd recommend using the preset flow. Blender's a bit more old school, but as I say, it's still very versatile and capable of stuff. Check out some really good animations on YouTube. Type in Blender Particle Animations and you'll see it's got good, some good stuff going on there and smoke is really coming on as well. Um, so that's basically it. Check out my website, www.jamesablart.com for more tutorials and some of my own artwork. And check out all my stuff on YouTube and subscribe. Any questions, comments, please ask. Um, thanks very much for watching and hopefully this helps and speak to you later. Bye.